the pride of Christ is not the source. Do you still believe women shouldn't be pastor or leaders in the source? Do you still believe healing was for the early source? Do you still believe the baptism of the Holy Spirit was for the early source and not for the body of Christ today also? Many of the sources views on these doctrinal pillars have been revised in recent years. With a spirit of honest examination, the source has realized that they were not quite right. With that said, I believe it time to take a closer look at the Bride of Christ doctrine as well. Here are reason why. Revelation 21 verse 9 to 10 9 One of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plague came and said to me, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of Lamb. Train. And he carried me away in the spirit of a mountain, great and high, and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. While there is a lamb's wife, the bride of Christ, it is not such. Revelation 21 verse 9 to 10 clearly states that the bride, the lamb's wife, is the holy Jerusalem. Revelation 19 verse 7 Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb is come and his wife hath herself ready. Again, this lamb wife, the bride of Christ, cannot be referring to the source. If the source is the bride of Christ, then the Christian has to do something to get herself ready. This requires what to be done by the Christian get ready. The word says that we are already made Righteous and we are already sanctified. So then the source is God's eyes is already ready. The bride of Christ has to be something else. If the source were the bride, the lamb's wife, then the angel in Revelation 21 verse 9 to 10 would have been shown. The source, not the holy Jerusalem. Jesus didn't teach that his body is also his bride. Paul didn't teach it either. Christians are repeatedly called sons of God, the body of Christ and the church throughout the New Testament, but are never called the bride of Christ. Currently the main tracing regarding the bride of Christ is that she is the church and must make herself ready. This tracing is inconsistent with the entire Paul in revelation of the gospel of grace. We are already righteous and we spot not blemish in the Lord's sight. We are already ready. Therefore, it is turned to reason that this source cannot be the one getting herself ready. The pride of Christ then must refer to something or someone else. The bride must refer not the source but to the holy Jerusalem, just as the word of God says in Revelation 21 verse 9 to 10. The unfortunate bride of Christ doctrine Reading ourselves lies in God's hands. The pride of Christ tracing says, The source has to do something to make herself ready to be perfect. If this is true, then there is absolutely no way Jesus will ever return and get us. We cannot get ready ourselves or acid perfection by our own doing. It will never happen. We are not perfect and we can never be perfect outside of his gift of righteousness. It is just not possible. It will never be possible. 
cannot I ignore the comparison of our ship and Mary's. Though I don't believe that the bride of Christ referred to this source, I do think that the comparison of our relationship to God with the covenant promises or vows made in marriage is helpful. The Padras make those comparisons. I don't refute that God is made a lot of promises to us similar to those we make to each other when we get married. But as far as my personal relationship with God, I am friend of God. He is my God and I am His son too. In the scripture it read whereby we cry Abba, literally very Father. The closeness and intimate nature of our relationship with Him has the quality of the relationship between a father and a son, not a relationship between spouses. He is there who has promised me an inheritance and the ability to come boldly to his throne of grace. Neither Jesus nor Paul ever thesis that the body of Christ is bright. They did not tell us the body of Christ is a bride of any kind. Perhaps Israel divide, but the body of Christ certainly is not. Jesus never told his disciples he would would someday be their bride. Paul didn't say we are the bride. No where in scripture does it ever say Christians are the bride of Christ, not only that it just seems strange. The term bride of Christ never appears in the Bible. While a lamb wife is mentioned in the Revelation, the term bride of Christ is never used in the Bible. I search the Bible for the term bride of Christ. I couldn't find it. It surprised me. When I did the search and I came up with no result. And two things. After all these years of hearing how we are the bride of Christ, and He will come get us once we have made ourselves ready. ready. What does the Bible say about the bride of Christ? What does the what say about the bride of Christ? Nothing really. The term bride of Christ is now where in the Bible. Aside from being first coined by the Roman Catholic Church, this term has been invented out of perceived inference of certain passages that says God's relationship to us is as a fright. These passages are all parable or similar. They are simply making a comparison of our relationship to Him. He loves us and has made covenant promises to us. Similar to how a husband loves and uphold promises to his wife. Again, the passages that comes closest to mentioning a bride from Revelation. And there came unto me one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials full of the seven last plague, and Talk with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride. The lamb's wife, and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, and her life was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, fear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had tulip great, and at the great tulip angel, and names written thereon. Which are the names of the tulip tribe of the children of Israel? Revelation 21 verse 9 to 12. This passage does not say, 
the body of Christ is the lamb's wife. It does not say Israel is the lamb's wife. It clearly states, however, that that great city, the holy Jerusalem, is the lamb wife in verse 10. It also says that John the Revelator saw the great city descending down from heaven adorned as a bride. He doesn't even refer to it as the bride, but that it is adorned as a bride. Read this parable from Matthew, Matthew 22, verse 1 to 14. And Jesus answered and spoke unto them again by the parable and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, who is made a marriage for his son, and sent forth his servant to call them that were bidden to the wedding. And they would not come again. He sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them, we are bidden, be ye hold. I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my petling are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it, and when there was one of his from another to his mercenaries, and the remnant took his servant and entreated them spitefully and slew them. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then said he to his servant, The wedding is ready, but they which were not oatly Go either of their fall into the high ways, and as many as ear shall find bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the high ways and gathered together, while as many as they found both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. When the king came in to see, the guest he saw there a man which had not won a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how comest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? Then he was speechless. Then said the king to the servant, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away and Cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are Susan. The bride is not the subject of this story. The guests are. The commonly accepted interpretation of this parable is that the guest represent the church. How can the guest be considered the bride? Taking the leaf from the guests representing the bride of Christ can't be done. But the proponent of the bride of Christ concept to it with these passages all of the time. I am married unto you, and I will take you on of a city, and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. In the Old Testament, that source of Christ had not yet been established, therefore there was no source yet. Furthermore, the prophet said, God is already married to Israel. There is never any mention of a wedding for Jesus simply on to the Lamb's wife. Why do we already read things into the world? So, how did some miss that passage and turn the source or even Israel into the bride of Christ? Israel makes more sense. But still, I am not sure why, why people draw conclusions like this without clear evidence. The very human reason to understand everything has led to people reading into things that aren't 
really there is there in order to make some sort of sin out of it. Why the Bride of Christ doctrine is important, Christianity become like all the other religions of the world. I used to think the Bride of Christ doctrine was an issue of secondary importance. However, with further consideration I have concluded it is fundamental concern what the doctrine traces causes to do works to become. Without spot or wrinkle, our Christianity becomes just like all the rest of the religion of the world. It becomes a religion of work and not one founded in God's grace. The bride of Christ teaching tracks away from us God grace and gift of righteousness. We then become all about works while the Golson were all about works. What did Paul call those Golson? He called them fools. Other problem with the bride of Sars doctrine. In addition to devaluing his gift of righteousness, the bride of Christ doctrine also devalues our, our authority and position in Christ. Being in his body is much more powerful than simply being his bride. For example, when it comes right down to it, my wife is limited in her authority over me because she is a separate person. It's not the way with the body of Christ. He gave us all of his authority as king and priest in the earth. We are the, his body. We are his body. We have his authority in the earth. That authority is the power of God. He gave us to hear, believe, speak and live by. Don't believe anything you hear, including what I write unless it can be clearly backed up by the word. I can clearly back up with scripture the fact that the Lamb's wife is the holy city of Jerusalem, but the ones who believe the source is the pride of Christ cannot back it up with obvious scripture. The source is not the pride of Christ, it is really talk. So, today is my discussion over all friends could fly.